Do you struggle with all the holiday prep you know you need to get done by Thanksgiving Day, but you also want to get some school days in this week? That's what we're going to be chatting about today as I talk about how I weave the holiday into our home life. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday before Thanksgiving, we typically do have school, but I am really laid back about it. I know how much I have on my plate for our family. We have a lot to get ready for Thanksgiving Day. We're going to be hosting at our home this year, as well as going out to uh, one family event and then also to a friend's giving. So there's a lot of prep that needs to happen. My older three kids are also in a personal finance class through our co-op. In the class, they're part of a stock exchange game. It's a competition, and they all invest in stocks. It's really fun for them. Um, they have a stocks giving today. So for this, they're going and they're working on their projects with their friends, and they're also taking along some food for them to have their own Thanksgiving there. So that's something that some of them are going to be working on today. But for the most part, I really like to weave the holidays naturally into our home life. And I've observed that the more that we homeschool, the more these two things mesh together, home and school, so that sometimes it's really hard to tell them apart. So like I said, I do give my kids a little bit of work to do during these couple days, but then we spend a lot of time cooking or even cleaning and getting ready for company. Typically during these days, I have them give me their checklist at the beginning of the day and we decide what they're going to do and what they can leave off for the day. For many years, it was me in the kitchen just really working hard to get meals made and all my little ones just underfoot seeming like I could never get any of it done. But as my kids have gotten older, I'm so glad that I've allowed them and encouraged them to be a part of the work with me in the kitchen because they really do help with all the Thanksgiving prep all the things that need to be made. There's somebody that is there beside me and a lot of them are making things on their own now and it's really, really nice. I have a couple Thanksgiving traditions that I like to do every year and one of them is reading Thanksgiving books to my kids. This one is The Thanksgiving Story by Alice Dagliesh. Um, another one is one by Barbara and Dennis Rainey. I have these all on my blog, ourlifehomeschooling.com, if you search under the seasonal tab or if you search for Thanksgiving. I also have a list of books that have the true story of Thanksgiving because I really like for my kids to be familiar with the history. And this includes original documents. It's really a great resource. Another thing that we like to do with our kids is sing traditional Thanksgiving songs. We typically do hymn study every month, learning a new song, and during the month of November, we do Thanksgiving songs. We do songs like, We Gather Together, Come Ye Thankful People Come, Now Thank We All Our God, For the Beauty of the Earth. I also have a list of these on the website if you want to check them out. My kids are also doing fall themed copy work all this month and at the very end of it I have a lot of Thanksgiving poems or songs or stories. One of them is this book that I cannot go without mentioning. It's an old fashioned Thanksgiving by Louisa May Alcott. I absolutely love this book. I found it a couple years ago. The story is one that I will definitely be reading every year from now on. It's a short story so it takes me maybe two or three days to get through it, um, just a small little pamphlet-like book. Um, but this is one. And then there are also like the New England Child's Song, which is Over the River and Through the Woods. That's a poem that I like to read to the kids. These are all also on the blog. So six times seven is... Oh, yeah. I consider a lot of the prep that we do for Thanksgiving Day to be part of our schoolwork. And if you hesitate to have this kind of relaxed approach about homeschooling, I challenge you to reconsider. I have found that my kids have learned so much from cooking with me, from gardening, 
I did not have a relaxed approach like this when I started out homeschooling and I spent a lot more time teaching my kids things. Homeschooling took a lot more time. But what I found is that the kids learn about fractions, about uh, doubling, tripling fractions. They've learned about how to measure. There's just so many things that they learn by having free play, free time, that when I go to teach them some of these math concepts, it's like they already have a step up. They're already ahead and understand the, the concept behind it. So being relaxed in this way is an advantage. Jenna and Brindley here are making some pumpkin knot rolls as well as some pumpkin pie for their stocks giving. And they are doing this pretty much all on their own. They follow recipe by bringing kids into a lot of the normal work that we do in real life. They become so capable. For Christmas, I have my older girls do our family picture calendars and it, it takes them a little bit of time, but they love doing it. Giving kids real problems to solve and letting them try some of the things that we do in the real world as adults, it helps them become, it, it gives them confidence. And I found that when I go to teach my kids things, it just takes a lot less time and they pick up on it so much more quickly. Back to weaving the holidays into our home life, I also will sometimes put some art and picture study around the house for them to study, specifically some pictures of Thanksgiving like Norman Rockwell's Freedom from Want portrait or the first Thanksgiving at Plymouth by Brownscombe and some others. Over the years, I've read from William Bradford's Of Plymouth Plantation. Last year, we read Landing of the Pilgrims by James Dougherty. I love for them to be familiar with original documents like the Mayflower Compact and the treaties that was between um, Squanto and Massasoit. It's another reason that I teach cursive to my kids because I want them to be able to read original documents, historical documents for themselves, especially because we're living in a time when history is being rewritten. Another thing that we'll be spending some time on today is getting the house Back in order, our oldest son is coming home from college and we are so excited to spend the next couple days with him just catching up on everything and just enjoying being together as a family. I really enjoy being in the kitchen with my kids now, but I will say that it's so much different than when my kids were all little. I remember feeling very frazzled a lot. And it was just hard for me to have little ones that always were either underfoot or wanted to help me. But now they love doing a lot of this work and um, I, I don't have to ask them or cajole them. They're always asking, can I do this? Can I make this? Can I try this project? Whether it be in the kitchen or outside, um, my son really likes to do projects out in the garage. Right now he's working on a welding project um, so I, I love that they are always busy finding things that interest them and ways to be productive and just new things to learn in the world around them. Thank you so much for joining me today in our home and I wish you a very blessed Thanksgiving. Please remember to like and subscribe. I make one video a week on homeschooling encouragement for everyday moms.